Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. It's been a while, Tommy. How are things going? Uh, things are going great, Chris. Uh, leaves are changing color. Got another ghost hunt coming up uh, somewhere in uh, Winchester, Indiana. Uh, it's coming up this Sunday, so that's what's going on with me. Nice. Um, basically, it's cold in Washington. It's getting cold everywhere, I think. So basically, um, you know, it's fall, so it's going to go into winter soon. So that means that um, when that means we get uh, winter, it's going to be blazing and freezing all over. But until then, guess what, Tommy? What? We got some news and some celebrity gossip news, things that are turning. And so let's do this. And here we go. So welcome back everyone. Basically, I got some news, Tommy, on a boxer that has died inside of the rings. Patrick Day, a comer, um, he's a boxer. Him and Charles Conwell just had a um, bout and in one of the rounds, um, Patrick went down really hard and not only that, um, he was knocked out a couple times, and the last time that he was knocked out, basically, um, his head hit the canvas really hard. Not as normal as a knockout, but more than that. And basically, he um, sustained blows to the head, and during that last um, knockout, he was having a seizure, so they had to rush him to the ER, and basically... Um, they took him underneath emergency surgery. That didn't help. And Patrick Day has passed away at the age of 27. Uh, that is shocking. He's so young. And I know boxing is a, a tough sport. I mean, you take like some of the greats like Muhammad Ali, a.k.a. Cassius Clay, and some of the other ones, which I cannot think of right now. But, you know, that he... He had a really rough hit. I don't know if he was, you know, protect himself right or exactly what happened. Um, but it is a very dangerous sport. But also, it can be a very long uh, filled career too if you uh, do it right. Moving on, Tommy. What do you have for this week for us? Okay. Well, the company BuzzFeed uh, has this uh, travel program called Bring Me. And now they're expanding it to include longer format videos on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And so what they're going to do with that is they're going to bring on uh, five people. There'll be other people doing food, recreations of food, of fan favorites, uh, as well as continuing on with showing people different places they can travel, different places they can see, because they've got a lot of people commenting on their content saying, wow, I learned this about this country, or I learned about this country, or this city, or this town, or this uh, region of the world. So it's encouraged more people to travel. And so they want to continue doing that. They want to continue to uh, bring content to their viewers so they can learn more about different countries. And it's uh, currently the content is being watched in over 139 countries right now worldwide people this is a worldwide thing so if you're in like india or anywhere else in the world and you want to find out what it's like in uh a um, like somewhere else in asia or england or the middle east you are able to do that so well tommy that is good awesome news to hear and that is good that they're looking at that content and taking that information to make a lot more content better. So if you don't get what I'm saying is, is that, you know, you're being watched basically around the world and it's going viral. So basically, um, when you have that and that, um, 
a lot of things could go right, your success and all. So, yeah, so like I said before, BuzzFeed is going to be doing more longer videos uh, through fa YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram uh, to encompass more of these uh, people that they're bringing on. And this is also part of their um, creator uh, business model that BuzzFeed has. So the, these creators that are creating this content will have access to their best editors, the best uh, uh, analyzers, and all the best people they have working at BuzzFeed. They'll have uh, they'll have access to all their the best people and all the editing and analytics and everything, so they can make the best content. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, BuzzFeed is pretty top-notch and they know what they're doing and I wish them the best. That's all the news that we have for you guys. Tune in next time. We'll be having a lot more things going on in front of the camera. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like this video because the more likes we get, the more the video goes out there. And uh, thanks for watching. And um, we'll see you next time and have a great day, evening, afternoon, wherever you're at. So. See you later. Bye. Bye.